The sun is out, and so is a great crowd for Outlaws action at Thunder by the River. And this is Thomas Grody. He drives Fear the Fog. Thomas doing the driving for Brother Tim. Thomas don't get to travel with us very much because he's most usually working as an engineer at the John Deere plant in Waterloo, Iowa. So the John Deere man sits on top of the green of the light limited pro stock tractors. Going to start this show off with smoke blowing and a distance of 292 feet, point 29. A great pull. Let's go on board with Thomas and we'll show you exactly what it sounds like to drive one of these beasts. So, you like that ride? Stay with us. More coming up. In the heart of the Midwest, there's a band of modern day marauders. Mounted atop their beasts, they line up to throw down. They are outlaws. From Wisner, Nebraska, welcome to Thunder by the River. In fact, the Elkhorn River, about 100 feet away from the pits and the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Series. Hello, everyone. I'm Claude Wood, along with expert analyst Dave Bennett. Rick Carlson will give us more on the track. The pulling course here at Wisner does not always look the way it does during the event. It starts out with rough dirt, and all the equipment that you see turns this into the pulling course. Something unique here at Wisner, Nebraska, is this is a purpose-built course. It has a crown in the middle, so there is good drainage. On each side of the track, they have small drainage ditches that are tiled to take the runoff to the Elkhorn River. The only venue in the United States States that's set up that way. Great course. You hear the pullers talk about the way they like it. Well, it was built for them and it tests every single piece of equipment going down this pulling track. Thanks, Rick. Great crowd on hand. And today's classes, we will be bringing you light limited pro stock, modified four wheel drive, unlimited light super stock, and light super stock. So let's get it going now with the light limited pro stock class. And we'll get it started with Mike Eccles driving all in. Last year's points champion having a little bit of trouble this year fighting off the green boys and such as that. So here we come with International. Riding that clutch out there a ways. Here we come. He knows where he's got to go and it's a long ways down the track. Using all the ponies he could muster out of the all-in. 282 and 32, still just a little short. And that was a straight, smooth, and true run. Well, here's the Rugrat Rampage. John Deere, the 4455 out of Del Rapids, South Dakota, John Norgon. These boys are riding that clutch. You gotta use the horsepower. These motors are only 466 cubic inches. Get all the goody. Oh, did he get all the goody down to the last stroke? We got a new leader at 296 and 20. John Rugrat Rampage now in the lead. That was a nice pull. That yeah, was pretty good. There's a lot of tough tractors left in the class, but hopefully it'll hold, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, that'll bring up Tim Grody. His brother Tom pulled first in the class. Wonder if Tom gave him any info. I don't know. This guy sitting on an international. You might not want to talk red and green info right there. Actually, the Forever Red tractor is owned by Jerry Hannigan. And Tim Grody doing the driving for him here today at Thunder by the River. Up in the air goes the front end. Boy, got a bite on the track right there. 282 and 21. Rick Carlson is somewhere in the crowd. A nice warm summer afternoon in Wisner, Nebraska. Population 1,170 people. Well, this weekend, it's Thunder by the River, truck and tractor pulling. It swells to about eight to 10,000 people. It is an absolutely huge happening for everybody. Where do you come from? Portsmouth, Iowa. What's your favorite category? Uh, unlimited super stock. There we go. Well, I'm gonna sit here with the fans for a while before I have to go back to work and we'll bring you more from right here in Wisner.
This coverage of the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Association is being brought to you by Will Cross. Good product, good prices, good service. And by Midas Tire, fit for your job. And by Stop Fire, the world's best fire extinguisher. And by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. Another big crowd on hand for the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Series, Wisner, Nebraska, and we're glad you joined us. Right in the middle of the light limited pro stocks, here is Travis Steen. Big Red International traveling out of Alcester, South Dakota. I'm here to tell you, the South Dakota boys have come with their guns loaded here at Thunder by the River, and the Big Red is looking really good. Sharp looking tractor, straight, clean, just skipping the ground with those front wheels. And boy, did it work for him. Three foot in the lead, 299.09. Big Red, Travis, that close to 300, but that's good enough. You're in the lead. We'll take the lead anytime we can get it. That's tough competition out there. That'll bring up Clint Metting. This is his first trip up here to Wisner, and he's here, Dave, just to get a little experience. Well, he pulls down with the Texas boys, the Texas Truck and Tractor Pulling Association. He's won their points. He comes up here to the Thunder by the River. Everybody wants to pull in Wisner, Nebraska. Could have brought a few more ponies with him. He's going to fall a little short. Bullfrog goes 282 and 37. Looked like the track pulled him over to the left just a little bit. Well, here's Bubba Gosler. He will drive spare time. Let's listen to his pull and see how he finesses the clutch. Slid it out there a long way. You heard it kind of lock up. Spare time is in a battle for the points lead. We're getting around the turn four of the points race, if you will. And this man is in the race, and he goes 291.09. And it'll take the rest of this class to find out if that distance is going to help him. Alan Shellum selecting his gear, getting set to go on constant chaos. Big John Deere, the constant chaos, always causing chaos in this class. He come to play for a fact. Out of Sherman, South Dakota. All the boys pretty well taking the same track. Every one of them taking the same track. The distances are getting right, and they're pretty close to each other. 283.09 right in the group. Light Limited Pro Stock, final results. First and second place, red and green. South Dakota well represented. Position seven through 10, less than three inches. What a class. Now let's go to modified four wheel drive. Here comes the Foxy Lady. Ah, oh, Foxy Lady, Charlie Miller out of Creston, Iowa. Will be the first one to start this class off. Take a look at that white stripe right there. Look how close he is gonna put that sled in the pickup. Boys are looking for something on that side of the track. Motor singing a song. Hi, RPM, you gotta love it. Started off with a distance of 292.04. Coming up next, right now, you're in the middle of a big strategy session with brothers Doug and Dustin Ritter. Will it work? We'll all find out when we come back to Wisner, Nebraska. Welcome back to the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Series from Wisner, Nebraska. A good look there at Dustin Ritter. Well, we'll see, Dave, if his strategy plays out. Well, those boys can read a track as good as anybody, and they talk with each other, and they strategize what they want to do, and they wanted to drive that corner. You see how he took off? See the track behind the sled right there? He was aiming for that corner, and it's going to work pretty nice for him at 298 and 90. And he ended up over on the left side of the track. Let's see what Dave Critz does in Aftershock. Out of Tyndall, South Dakota, here comes the Ford. This is quite a Chevrolet Ford battle in this class. And the Chris brothers, they are going to work a good straight pass. They're staying a little farther off of that left side, but still yet, nobody's wanting to venture to the middle. And he should have ventured a little farther, 288.73, where he's going to wind up. Nut and Honey, this is Nick Christensen, and we'll see where he spots the uh, sled. I think this is going to be over. Yeah, this is over on the left side. Uh, the boys are finding something over there they like. They're going to stay on that left side. These pickups are going to live and die on that side, looks like. Oh, man. That motor is singing. The flagman's waiting on him. 
This should be a really nice hook, and it is. We got a leader for a fact, 303 and 12. Nick Christensen, nothing, honey, goes over 300 foot. First puller this round. Yeah, um, I think a lot of it had to do with the track where they were running. I think if you allow the track to dry out just a little bit, it'll pick up on it, and, and uh, there's, there's something there. Dad's coming up next. We'll see if it works or not for him. What did you tell him over the radio? I told him to pedal the clutch a long ways and get on her. Well, I guess you trust the sun. Dave, do you trust the sun to give you the right info here? Well, they might ought to trust it because they're riding the same truck to each other, father and son. Told him to pedal the clutch. That means ride it out. Bring the motor up. He did. He rode the clutch. He's doing what son told him. That left side. Oh, screaming that motor. 307.27. He goes into the lead. Dean, you are the leader. 307 feet. You got four feet on Nick after he gave you instructions. Yes, he uh, radioed back to me and uh, told me to ride the clutch out pretty hard and get the motor up and whatever. And uh, the track was a little uh, soft here today, but uh, what I'd done worked. Okay. Richard Clark now in red line. Dave, give me a little more info. If you said pedal the clutch, do you mash it all the way in or is that part way? Now you let the motor bring the RPM up, which forces that clutch off, and you got to hold that left foot down, forcing that clutch to force your foot off the clutch, and that's how you slide it the longer you hold it. And Richard Clark out of Panora, Iowa, red line. He tried to do the same thing, but he didn't go to that left corner, so he goes 291 and 88. Final competitor in the class, this is Joe Claypool, and he drives risky business. Well, look at that white stripe on the screen right there. He has got over to that side. The Christians have set one and two, and this man is gunning for him, and he's taking that pass. Right there sits Dean. He's watching him come at him, holding his ears. What is it going to be? 305 and 35, almost not quite. Nick Christensen, the son, and some other pullers coming over to congratulate Dad on winning modified four-wheel drive. Joe Claypool breaks up the family affair with the Christensens and ends up in second place, and Dustin Ritter's strategy places him fourth. Here comes the unlimited superstar class. Lewis Freeze getting ready to go here, so Dave, give us a little 411 on this class. Well, the unlimited super, 6,200 pounds of scat back. Wheel churning, get up and run. Now, you want action in the class, this one will give it to you. Out of Watkins, Iowa, the Red Ink be the first one in. Look at that tire speed. Cranking down heavy and hard. He leads it off at 325 and 87, a nice little pass. Let's go on board with Lewis. This looked like a pretty good pass, but whoa, this thing is bouncing everywhere. Is that normal? Uh, with the tire speed these boys are cranking, 80, 90 mile an hour tire speed. You see that vibration right there and that driver's feeling every bit of it, but he loves the horsepower. Lewis, you start things off with a 325. How strong is that gonna be? Oh, I hope it hangs in there. We got a lot of tough tractors back there yet, and I don't know, it's gonna take a lot of horsepower and momentum. The only Alice Chalmer in the class, so Mark Ulmer, hey, make your class proud here. Oh, the Ulmer man, he runs smoke in other classes, he runs alcohol in this light super stock, and he can spin and grin with the Alice, he can spin and grin anywhere, front end up in the air, that's the way he likes to fly right there. Stand her up and take her to the other end. Uses all the ponies will spin her in, burn her in. 3, 15, 85. Justin Hoffman will be getting ready to go here. And Dave, we saw a lot of front end straight up in the air. Was that by design or did they miss the balance? Ah, uh, you like that front end up some. You don't want it real high, but you want that front end up a little bit where you can plant those rear tires in the track and get that momentum and use that tire speed. So the man out of Dunlap, Iowa, running out of ponies right there, gonna fall short. That's uncharacteristic to that tractor for a fact at 308 and 37. And here is the only New Holland in the class, so pressure is on him. I just got it put back together, the addiction. Oh, nice, nice on the line. Look at that front end up, carries it, floats it. He didn't bounce, he didn't stutter, and he is going to the other end. The man from Wayne, Nebraska, is gonna let people know he's here. And boy, is he gonna let him know. 338.75, way in the lead. 
walk up and Ryan is inside the helmet laughing and you can hear him. You have a feeling uh, he was pretty happy with that hole. Well, we just got her put back together Wednesday night, so it had been a long time since we've run. So, Well, apparently you bowled it all together pretty well. Well, we hope so. <laughs> Our last puller in the class is last year's defending champion. This is Gary Whipf. And out of Frankfurt, South Dakota, he needs a good run right here. We got a tight, tight battle in the points race coming down to the end of the year. If he's going to defend his championship, he's got to have a run. And oh, man, front end up, letting it have his head scooting over, not fighting it a bit. What a deal. 18 feet in the lead, 356.49. Looking at the leaderboard, John Deere in first place, followed by New Holland International and Alice Chalmers. We'll finish unlimited super stock when we come back. This coverage of the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pull Association is being brought to you by Riggins Ag Equipment. Spray it or spread it, we have what you need. And by Kaiser Wheels, we expect the results you dream about. And by Extreme Performance Tire Cutting, be supreme by extreme. And by Steel Rubber Products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. Welcome back to Thunder by the River from Wisner, Nebraska. Still in unlimited superstock. This is Scott Holtgrew. The voodoo deer. Scott Holtgrew brings two tractors to class, but this is the one he looked cool in. I like that color on this John Deere. Up in the air, walking and talking, shifting from side to side. Shooting at the boys big time. The voodoo deer is gonna move in there. Oh, it needed a few more feet. He goes 320-24. Whoa, Tim Franson having a little bit of a problem there, Dave. What's up with that? Well, that slipper clutch set up just a little bit tight, so he's having to grind the gears to get the clutch to quit turning. Now, this tractor actually belongs to Don Storage on, and Tim is the nephew doing the driving here today, doing a pretty good job of it. I guarantee you when he gets done now, this clutch will be wore where it'll go in gear. A distance of 314 and 48. Rick is with our winner. Gary, getting lucky at 356, that's not lucky. It's a little bit of good to go along with it. Well, everything kind of went the way it was supposed to, and, uh, you know, it, it travels back and forth between all these tractors. Some tracks suit other tractors better, and this one here just kind of suited our tires and our speed and all that. Experience paid off in the Unlimited Superstock final results. Gary Whip, your winner, the defending points champion. We're leaving the unlimited superstock, going to the light superstock. Dave, the difference. One of the biggest differences is you got to run a cast iron rear end, agricultural rear end, and not a component. Corey Sluter coming out on Grand River Deer right here, running the diesel. You can't run alcohol in this class, but this will be a diesel tractor. He's first hook in the class, so he'll have the option to take and or refuse. And I'm watching him come down the track. He zigged, he zagged, and that motor went down just a little bit. I'm not too sure that he's going to want to keep that pull at 282.94. Corey, you're going to go ahead and keep the 282. That's right. Uh, we're running a dry block on this motor, so it's real hard to come back. Um, <clears throat> these motors get real hot, and it's just it's hard on them to, to make two passes. Kyle Spatonsky will be our next puller, and he drives old 10. International out of Cairo, Nebraska, one of the old-time tractors from back when, for a fact. Getting down in there. You hear that turbo whining on the line. That's a little bit of an international sound you hear right there actually with the turbo not just a whole bunch of tire speed you'll see in on this tractor he goes a distance not where he wanted to at all 236 and 91. chuck schluter coming up now he will have his sight set on his son corey can he best his effort oh you gotta love it when father and son's in the both class shooting at each other barn buddy's a past points champion and with chuck being dad he's got the experience Nice, nice. Look at that front end up in there. Motor sounding good. Farther down the track. Looks like he's going to take Sun down. He goes 287 and 79. Now, here comes the first alcohol tractor in the class. This is Frank Boha Boy, and he's not too far from home. He runs a farming operation out of Howes, Nebraska. 
The green lightning, alcohol powered, a little more tire speed, get up and boogie. Frank's been having a little bit of trouble with this tractor. The motor not running, in fact, it's not running right there at all. The motor never kept that high RPM. Pulled over to the left. 266 and 17, he is not gonna be happy. John Ewalt up next, he's out of Nebraska. And so far, Dave, most of these guys are spotting the sled on the right. And this man is gonna go in the center. The midlife crisis, John Ewalt, Got that front end up. You see some tires burning, smoke coming out of the side shields right there. Really no concern, but we're losing ground speed just a little too fast. When you see the flagman walking towards you, that's not a good sign. 260.05. Our final competitor will be Brent Bowles. Brent is driving today, and Brian is the defending champion. Haley's Comet, now we're talking tire speed. Now we're talking boogie. A lot of difference in the tractors in these classes, the alcohol and the diesel and the tire speed. And look at this distance. Whoa, look at that fire come out the bottom. We just lost the motor, folks. Money went up in the air, but they done it at a distance of 313.35. And as we take a look at the final results, Brent Bowles is our champion, but he paid quite a price. Well, all the excitement, everything else kind of hidden away was 331. Those are winning numbers. <laughs> we're happy with that part of it. We're, uh, I think we're going to pay for the win. <laughs> so. It, uh, nothing's going to rust for a while down here. No, it's not. There's plenty of oil there, isn't there? <laughs> so, yeah, is that's the way it is, though, sometimes. That, uh, you, you play, you're going to pay at times. <laughs> so. And a tip of the cap today to the track crew here in Wisner, Nebraska. Wow, what a lot of work went into the prep and cleanup. Well, Dave, we had a full day today. All for a fact. Thunder by the River lived up to its name. It was Thunder. The pickups, the light supers. You've seen everything you could see, but you know what? We got more to come. They got more shows coming. It's, we ain't done yet. See you next week. And now for Dave Bennett and Rick Carlson, Claude Wood, so long from Wisner, Nebraska.